Hi everyone. Welcome back to my math teaching channel online today. In this video today, I would like to introduce to you uh, an application of derivative of calculus in problem solving in a real life. So let me get right into the question and let me read it out loud to you. A furry's wheel 50 feet in a diameter makes a revolution every two minutes. If the center of the wheel is 30 feet above the round, how fast is the passenger in the wheel moving vertically when he is 42.5 feet above the round? Okay, so let me interpret the word problem to the, with the diagram for you to get some idea. So we have a furry wheel. Everybody know furry wheel. When I was a child, I'm so thrilled. Of, I, I wish I can go to the park and then get into this furry wheel, play with it all the times. <laughs> but anyway, now we have to solve the problem. So we have a furry wheel. The diameter of the furry wheel is 50 feet. So we know that from here to here is a radius, which is half of diameter. So we know from here to here is 25 feet. Um, if the center of the wheel is 30 feet above the round, so the distance from the center of the wheel down to the round here is 30 feet. How fast is the passenger in the wheel? So I have a passenger right here. Um, moving vertically when he is 42.5 feet above the rail. So at this point right here, he's sitting in the chair, right, on the wheel, and his distance from, from here to the rail is 42.5 feet. So the question asks for how fast is the passenger in the wheel moving vertically. So you see, this is the moving vertically. And when they're asking about the rate of change at this moment where he is uh, 42.5 feet above the round. So I pick the point from here to here is 42.5 feet, right? So the question here asks for how fast does he rise? So dy over dt is the question. Now, usually when you solve the word problem, we have to have enough information given, right? So the question here, we know that's asked for how fast that is right at the point right here, dy over dt. But what is a given? Now, if you read, but the question is say the furry wheel turn around in a home circle, one revolution, right? One revolution. So let's say from here all the way back here, back here. So it two pi in two minutes. So what does that tell you? If we divide by half, we got pi per minute. So it's one revolution is 360 degree, right? Um, the same like two pi. So now we know this is the given fact. Given d theta over dt equal pi per minute. Because the hint here, they tell us one revolution in two minutes. So we want to find the rate in one minute how many revolution will be at pi per minute. That is the angle d theta over dt, this angle, right? How fast it turn, right? How fast this, it, it, the, the furry will turn in, in such angle of d theta over dt equal pi per minute. So how do we find dy over dt? Now, any time we deal with derivative and in the worst problem like this, we have to establish the equation, the function, right? 
then we can find derivative that function. So the function here, we're talking about how fast does he rise? So this is the vertical distance from here to here, right? From a diameter here on the way here. So the question asks for dy over dt. And obviously you see that um, y, y here over 25 feet, we can use the ratio, right? The distance here, y over 25 feet equal um, equal 12. So y over 25, y over 25. Um, so if we 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 try to 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 find this distance. Um, y over 25, which is opposite over hypotenuse, equal psi theta, right? Now, we also know that dy over dt equal d, d equal dy over d theta time with d theta over dt. And we know d theta over dt is given. So now we have to find dy over d theta, right? Then we can get dy over dt. This is using the chain rule, right? We related this back to the angle. We say opposite over hypotenuse equals psi theta. And we know the y here. What is our y? Our y is 42.5 minus 30, which is 12.5. So distance from here to here, we know, which is 12.5. So we substitute y by 12.5, and 12.5 is half of 25. So psi theta equal one half. Now, if we find out psi theta equal one half, then we can find what is the angle theta here, right? So therefore, how do we find angle theta? Let's put in the ratio, the triangle. Psi theta, let's say this is angle theta. Psi theta equal one half. So what the triangle here look like? If this is one, two, then we remember um, psi theta equal opposite over hypotenuse. We remember the um, Spencer triangle, right? So if, if this is the case, psi theta equal one, two here, then here should be square root three, Spencer triangle, right? And we know this theta is how much? Um, so opposite to square root three is the angle theta here, let me see. Um, now this angle should be 60 degree, and this angle should be 30 degree by the Spencer triangle, right? And 30 degree equal pi over six. So the angle theta here by this ratio, by Spencer triangle, we learned this in my 12 already, right? So as long as you have a 30 degree here, and you know, we're facing the ratio of one, 60 degree on way facing square root uh, three and the hypotenuse equal two. So using this ratio, we know our angle theta equal pi over six. So now we know theta equal pi over six. So, so now we're going to establish our function our function of rising, which is we move to the bar here. Our function of the furry wheel when it's rising is y function. Y function equal um, 25 times with psi theta, right? Um, opposite over hypotenuse, so when we solve for it, we got y equal 25 psi theta. 
So now we have to look for dy over d theta. So the derivative of dy over d theta will be equal 25 cos theta, right? Because that's the derivative of psi. So now it becomes 25 cos theta. So now we know dy over d theta. So let's find out dy over dt. So dy over dt will be called dy over d theta, right? dy over d theta is 25 cos. And we know the angle in theta cos of pi over set. We substitute the theta here by this angle because now we know the angle is pi over set, right? So 25 cos pi over set, which is this one, dy over d theta, time with d theta over dt. And d theta over dt is a given information right here, right? We call pi per minute, right? We don't have to write per minute. So this is the answer. Now, cos of pi over six is what? Refer back to this triangle. We know cos of pi over six is 25 times with square root three, right? Cos is adjacent over hypotenuse, right? So cos pi over six is square root three over two times with pi that equal um, yeah we can leave it like that equal 25 pi um, time with square root 3 over 2 that is the answer um, and this is the 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 unit is the dy over dt so our unit is feet per minute. So that is the answer for this question. Okay, so let me summarize to you about this. So a furry wheel have a diameter of 50 feet. So we know the radius is 25 feet. Passenger go on the wheel and this will have a one revolution, which is two pi per two minute. So we know that in one minute, it turn an angle, the, the d theta over dt, how fast the angle turn is um, pi per minute. So we know d theta over dt is pi per minute based on this information, right? One rev revolution every two minutes. Now, we also know the distance on way from one at one moment, there's a passenger 42.5 feet above the route. We want to find out what is the rate of change, how fast he's right at this moment. So we related the chain, the rate of change relating to the angle theta where his position is, right? So how fast the wheel turn related to the angle it turn, right? So at this point, his angle theta equal y divided by hypotenuse, which is y here is 12.5, because we know from here to here 42.5, subtract 30, we get from here to here is 12.5. So how fast this angle turn, this theta, at his position, how fast it's turned, we can figure out that the angle theta here equals sine theta equals 12.5 divided by 25, which is one half. Now, once we know that fact, we draw the Spencer triangle, we know in trigonometry, the ratio one over two, we figure out the angle, which is 30 degree angle. So now if we know 30 degree angle, this is how fast he, the wheel turn at his moment like that, right? Then we establish the function dy over dt equal dy over d theta times with d theta over dt. Now we solve this equation. So first we have to 
phi dao, what is dy over d theta? Now to solve for dy over d theta, we use the function, the distance y here equals psi theta times 25 feet. So 25 psi theta. We take derivative of dy over d theta become 25 cos theta because derivative psi is cos. So now we solve for dy over dt because we have enough information now we put in. So we say dy over d theta is 25 cos theta and theta we know at pi over six, we substitute in time with d theta over dt, which is given pi per minute. We substitute in and we get the result for dy over dt. So that's how you apply the um, trigonometry in calculus. Okay, so I hope you understand this question because I went through uh, with you slowly and then step by step and now I summarize it right at the end. So I hope that you get, you understand and I hope you enjoy my teaching. So give me a thumb and hit like for supporting me. Thank you very much and bye for now. See you in the next video.